something that's just been on my mind i just want to say if you're if you're you know going through things right now which i know that all of us are majority of us are you're going through things that you probably feel like you can't get over it or you don't really see how things can change for you you don't really see the other side of the the road just yet i just want to encourage you to keep going keep trying keep giving it your all keep showing up for yourself a lot of times we don't know what is next in our lives we don't know you know we don't even know the absolute of what's going on right now but all we can do is continue to have faith in the journey and continue to trust the process because sometimes life just gets so uncertain to the point where you'll find yourself just thinking about you know possible outcomes and when that happens i just have to remind myself to bring myself back to the present moment because this moment right here literally right now it's all that i have it's all that i have right now so if you're going through anything you know your feelings are valid you are valid you are enough and you are strong enough to overcome you will overcome and there's nothing there's no obstacle there's no hurdle there's no battle that you cannot win this battle is yours it's already yours so you know sometimes you just have to go through the motions of things and you have to stay stay the course stay the course stay the course stay the course and i understand like that's so cliche to say like that's so like it's easier said than done but i'm telling you this because i know that there's nothing that you cannot overcome and you will overcome this obstacle and you will overcome the next obstacle and anything that just gets in your way like there's nothing that you cannot handle like i've said before and your feelings are valid so yes you you may feel a way about the situation you may feel a way about why it's you that has to go through certain things but just remember that feelings can change you are not your feelings you are not those feelings per se there are going to be times in life where people around you they don't really understand your journey they don't understand they don't see the bigger picture they don't see you know what you have going on behind the scenes and so to them it may look like you're not doing anything like for me i don't have like an actual job that, to where i clock in every now and then and you know that's so traditional so the people around me are just like oh it's you know let's get a job or how are you going to survive without a job and for i'm and i know it's from a place of survival like they want me to be able to provide and just live a life that to live a life where i am comfortable i don't have it all figured out and i don't make it seem like i have it all figured out but i do believe that things are working out for me so i'm just taking these opportunities these moments day by day because you know i've had people literally tell me like you're not doing anything like what are you doing um because i used to do hair so everybody sees me as somebody who has the potential to do whatever and i know i can do whatever but i've come to a point where certain things just haven't aligned with what i really want to do in life so i've let those things go and although i mean i haven't really expressed my feelings to people so it's like how can i expect them to understand if i haven't fully expressed these things to them and even if i do express my feelings or you know my perception of things to them they can only understand it from their level of perception they can only comprehend it from their level of perception so it's like no matter how much explaining i try to do no matter how much breaking down and you know mapping out diagrams sometimes people just won't understand and that's okay it's not for anyone else to understand besides you and sometimes you don't even understand you know you don't really completely understand your journey but i'm at a place where i'm not really trying to understand the bigger picture i'm just taking these little moments moments by moment moment by moment and just existing in a way that I know things are changing for me. I'm not really too, I'm not really too 
um, worried about how, when. I'm not really too worried about the how, the when. I'm just in a place where I'm surrendering to what is and allowing the universe to work for me because I believe that things are working out for me. And so as long as I hold on to that belief, then things will eventually work out for me. And living in a mindset of where things have already worked out for me because this moment is everything. Like, I can't say I'm waiting on like a specific thing to happen because life is more mental than anything. So as long as that mentally, as long as I know mentally I'm okay, I know mentally I'm wealthy, I'm successful, I'm at peace, I'm happy, I'm content, I'm joyful, then there's no matter what my outside environment looks like. It doesn't necessarily matter like what things I obtain or what accolades I achieve or what um, you know what my physical environment looks like because I'm in a mental space of gratitude I'm in a mental space of just allowing a mental space of just being being me um, uncontrollably so I had a couple situations where people would basically ask me like what am I doing um, and like why am I not still doing hair and why am I not still in school and I have to understand that neither one of these people are in places that I want to be in so I come and I come from a a family of survivors so all that we knew or all that like we grew up to know was to survive you know you have to get a job to provide for yourself and then if you have a family you have to work every day work non-stop to provide for that family because that's just what you do but when you're when your mindset is different or when you're breaking generational curses then it's like you have to do things that people will find you have to you will be doing things that people just won't find like it won't make sense to them it just won't click in their head because how could you not have a job how could you not be in school i'm the type of person where i will try to break it down to you just so you can understand because i don't like being i didn't like being misunderstood so i would try to like break it down as much as possible so that people would just simply understand me but there's no amount of understanding in the world there's no matter explaining it in the world to get people to really see where you are coming from and I'm learning that it's okay for me to be understood. It's okay for me to be judged. It's okay for me to be talked about because I'm doing things that are different. I'm doing things that nobody in my family has ever took the risk to do because all they've known to do was to survive. But I want to live a life of thriving. I want to live a life of freedom, freedom to just be myself and freedom to just do literally whatever makes my heart happy at that moment and i understand that that's going to come with a lot that's going to come with people not really agreeing with me people side eyeing me people judging me people talking about me people wanting to say certain things to me but not really finding the space to say those things and these people are people that i love like my family my parents my siblings i feel like i'm in a season of stillness so i'm in a season where so i'm not supposed to just be well, I personally feel like I have been going and doing and doing and doing literally my whole life, even up, you know, high school, graduated high school, went, didn't take a year off, didn't take any time off, went straight to college, college for three, three years. I think it was three years. I did college for three years. Then I dropped out of college and I, you know, doing my business full time. I was braiding hair full time. So... I haven't had a moment in my life ever to where I was just like being myself, you know, figuring out myself and not really having to do anything to survive. So I understand that that's the period that I'm in, but people around me, they don't really see it like that. And when you're in a society where everything is so fast paced and you try to do anything that's not traditional, you try to do anything that's not the norm for most people, then you're judged and it's okay to be judged. It's okay to be talked about. It's okay to be laughed at because I know where I'm going in life. I don't I don't know the exact route that it's going to be, but that's the thrill in life. Just being able to sit back and just watch things unfold for you. And it did definitely took me a lot to be in the space that I am now and I still have a lot of work to go. 
but just knowing where I come from and knowing what knowing just knowing where I come from just motivates me a lot it motivates me a lot because I understand that in order to get different results in life you have to do different things and I'm not going to keep doing the things that my family has done for years and it's really gotten us nowhere and I love my family like I love them completely because I feel like I see things from a perspective of just generations and things been passed traumas and everything been passed down from generations to generations and I'm the person I'm the one who wants change and I'm going about it in a way that I'm doing things differently to get different results so you really have to change your whole mindset like change your whole program and change your whole change your whole like makeup basically and I just want to let you know that if you're going through anything or if you're that person in your family who's meant to break generational curses that is definitely possible it's definitely possible for you it's not nothing that you can't do because you are strong and you are you are being guided and you're being protected because you don't have those visions for any reason you don't have those thoughts for any reason those thoughts are put in your head for a reason so just i think it's just so beautiful to be able to just sit back and see life unfold for you because i was at a point in my life where i just wanted to control every single thing and i'm realizing now that being in control all the time kind of takes the magic out of life because you don't really get to have those uncertain things you don't get to have those unexpected magical moments because you're trying to control every single thing like sometimes you just have to step back and let the universe do its thing and let the universe amaze you and believe that the universe is working with you because she is and she always has been but sometimes we are just not aware of it because we're so programmed to see otherwise we're so programmed to believe that we have to work and then retire and then then that's when we can live our life but I think the moment that really like changed my life for me like the moment that the thoughts or the thing that made me really like say bumpy I'm done with school I'm done with college I'm done with I'm done with this worldly world like I want to live a life of literally peace and fullness and just exp exploration and just live a beautiful life is we all die someday we literally all die someday so why not just live the life that i want to live i don't know i feel like i really was all over the place with this um i definitely want to do more of these to where i'm just like letting my thoughts flow and sharing my thoughts with you expressing my thoughts because that's really like believe it or not that's really the whole point of me starting my channel is just so I can be more expressive because I wasn't always the person to tell about how I feel like I said before um I didn't really feel like I had a space to where I could but this gives me space and I just want to say thank you for being here thank you for watching this video I found a beautiful spot outside to where I can just sit and just be and you can hear the birds and you can just hear cars passing and I'm literally sitting on the ground I brought my um, my hair stuffs to just do my hair and just sit here and I like like I like this I like doing stuff like this so I'll definitely make more time for it in the future this is not the last time you will see this type of video because y'all I have so much to say like I literally have a notes page in my phone to where I just like write out topics that I want to talk about with you guys but I have never like found time to where I'm just alone because I like to be alone and I like to just be able to express my thoughts and this is like the perfect place because it's so much greenery around me it's so much natural nature vibes but 
yes definitely leave your thoughts your leave what resonates down below and we can connect also there is more than there are multiple multiple perspectives like everybody is just living out their own truth so my what's true for me may not be true for you what's true for you may not be true for me but there's also this is a space where we can talk about our different perspectives and i'm not trying to convince you i'm not trying to do anything i'm just sharing my thoughts with you i'm sharing my perceptions and my my feelings i'm sharing those with you so it's not like it's coming from a place of trying to change anyone because i'm not trying to change anyone if anything i'm planting seeds just take what resonates leave what doesn't and just thank you for being here thank you for being you and thank you for allowing me to take up space in your life i love you guys and i'm so so i i feel really really good because this is the first time where i'm like super confident and i'm not trying to like like make a video without people in the house hearing me i'm just literally just making it i want to be more authentic and more real and more like me not trying to fit into like a label not trying to fit into a box not trying to post content just to get views because my main main goal is to inspire my main goal is to inspire and create a community to where we inspire each other because i can learn from you and you can learn from me and that's just that on that okay Peace.